In this video, I'm going to talk about why you should care if your blood pressure is high and why it's so important that you get it back down into the normal range. Now, blood pressure usually causes damage over a period of many years, even decades, and it's called the silent killer because it doesn't typically cause any symptoms. You don't know that your blood pressure is high, but if you don't get it back down into the normal range, it greatly increases your risk of having a heart attack or having a stroke or experiencing kidney disease. Now let's talk for a second about what each of those are. So a heart attack occurs when part of your heart muscle is not getting the blood supply that it needs. So your heart is full of blood all the time. It's pumping it to your entire body, but the muscular wall of the heart needs its own blood supply, which it gets through something called the coronary arteries. Those lie on top of the heart. And over time, high blood pressure is one of the risk factors that can cause plaque and damage in those arteries. And if that plaque reaches a point where it's actually blocking flow through the arteries, you can experience something called a heart attack. And that's again, where part of the heart muscle doesn't get enough blood and it dies and stops working. And that can cause very dangerous, even fatal heart rhythm problems and can cause the, uh, the heart to really stop working effectively and, and, and cause a condition called heart failure. Um, so that's a major cause of death in the United States. Uh, another thing that high blood pressure causes, as I mentioned, is stroke. And that's a similar problem affecting the brain. It's where part of the brain doesn't get enough blood flow uh, because of problems with the blood vessels supplying the brain with, uh, with blood. And when a part of the brain doesn't get enough blood flow, it can die. And depending on the location of the brain that's affected and the size of that location, uh, you can have a variety of problems, including inability to speak, inability to, to move or control part of your body, inability to feel things touching different parts of your body. Um, so a stroke can be a really devastating and, and sometimes fatal complication of high blood pressure. Uh, and the final thing that you really need to watch out for with high blood pressure is kidney disease. The kidneys are like a filter for your blood. Uh, they you know, free your blood of different chemicals and toxins that are in there, uh, which get expelled into the urine. And if you think about the, the kidney as a filter, the blood being forced into it at high pressures can damage those little filter particles, the, the units of the kidney um, that filter blood called the nephron uh, and progressively cause kidney dysfunction and kidney failure. So heart attacks, stroke, kidney failure are all potential consequences of untreated high blood pressure over the long term. And that's why it's really important to keep your blood pressure controlled. Now in the short term, very, very high blood pressure, dangerously high blood pressure can cause short term problems too. It can cause headaches, it can cause brain bleeds, it can cause a variety of issues, most of them affecting the brain. Um, and, uh, and that's caused a, a called a hypertensive emergency. And that really is unlikely to occur unless the blood pressure is indeed very high. We're talking greater than 220 on the top and you know 110 to 120 on the bottom. Um, but more typically, as I said, high blood pressure causes problems over the long term when it's not extremely high, but it's high. So, you know, many years or decades of a blood pressure, you know, 140s, 50s, 60s, 70s um, that uh, you're not controlling is going to cause problems.